friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the Drive World July 28th update. Yes, I'm late, I know, but we have a new hypercar to take a look at. Nexus Extreme added as a weekly challenge. The Taraku Extreme is back. New Nebula wrap, which sounds kind of cool. A new Stardust backfire. This just sounds like a really interesting update. So we're going to jump in and we're going to take a look at this. Here we go. Oh, what the heck? Okay, we have some brand new UI that says what's new. So in three days, we're going to be getting the Shadow Racers update, which if you don't know, it's basically like racing against other players' times as like ghosts. So I think you can do that in games like Mario Kart. And and it's kind of like inspired by that, but we also have, check this out, the Vanaheim, which is a pretty amazing looking car. The Nexus Extreme, I really like this UI by the way, and oh yes of course, the Taraku Extreme, which we did do a video on this at one point, and it was super cool. But, take a look at this, we've got new wrap, nitrous, instrument cluster on 15 plus cars. Okay, so they're just doing everything, man. They are improving on every front. Let's actually go see here. Let's go check out these new cars here. So I don't know if they're purchasable or if there's something that we actually need to just unlock. But let me take a quick look around. Okay, so the Vanaheim is actually a vehicle that we can just straight up purchase. The full body is made of carbon fiber, which looks amazing. This car is kind of strange looking though. It's almost like detached in some spots. This is weird. Like, how do you get inside of this thing? <laughs> we have some incredible stats here. 1,000 horsepower stock, less than 3,000 pounds. Pounds. This is a cool car. I think we should just buy it and see how it goes for us. Oh, Speed Avenue. Let's see if we can join this race. Okay, we've got a couple of opponents here. I don't think I've done this one before. Uh, 1500 rating. Let's see how the Vanaheim does right off the bat. Here we go. Okay, nice. Oh, did they change the nitrous? What the heck? Also, apparently 15 cars have new gauge clusters, so I think first person is going to feel a lot more realistic now as well. This car feels so weird. Okay, right off like the beginning here, it feels like super lightweight. I can barely touch the keyboard and the car is moving like crazy. I feel like I can almost take off and fly. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's genuinely one of the most lightweight feeling cars I've driven. And I'm not even trying to over exaggerate. This car feels really weird <laughs> it needs very little steering input to turn i wonder if that will change once we upgrade it because right now this thing feels super weird come on we're almost done third place not bad considering we still could have went a lot more but oh wow there we go uh yeah we didn't lose by a ton i guess well with that being said let me see what we got going on here let's check out what's under the hood um any upgrade would actually just be worse so instead we will just get all of these upgrades pistons and crank and wow i don't know if i like this new text um it looks a little bit weird but anyways let's keep going let's see track turbo so is this the right one hold on oh i guess no race turbo that's the one we want man the mods in this game are so expensive I swear we just spent like 10 million dollars on mods. Holy crud, dude. All right, let's see. What do we got power-wise? Wow, 1,960 with a 2,004 rating. Okay, and that's not even fully maxed out, I think. I think we could still do like brakes and some other stuff. So this is crazy. Also, under backfire, isn't there supposed to be some new ones? Okay, here we go. Stardust. I think this one's new. Oh, wait, that's Robux. What the heck? Um, what else do we have here? A bunch of other ones. These are all Robux, but they don't really impact the game. So I, I think it's fair to, to be okay with that. That's not a big deal. But yeah, that's sick. Okay, so the modern one is more smoky, and the stock one is like a jet engine. That's kind of cool. Let me go with like a different color, though. There we go. Oh, hill climb. Any rating. Oh, perfect. Okay, come on. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Do we get it? Do we get it in time? Oh, dang it. No one else joined. What the heck? All right, well, this one is any rating, so I had to go for it. Holy crud, man. This thing is ridiculous. Okay, I gotta be a little careful. We should take this on the drag strip, too, just to see, like, what kind of acceleration it has. It feels ridiculously fast. I can't even lie. The handling is crazy. I think once you get used to how light the steering is, you can really whip this thing around. Holy crud, dude. The cornering is nuts. Like, look at that. I can go around a corner at 200 freaking miles an hour. Watch this corner. Check this out. I'm going around it almost 200 miles an hour. I think this is one of those cars that's very beginner friendly because the handling is taking care of everything. You really don't have to do a whole lot. You can just turn the steering and it will do what you want. Okay, let's take a look at the quest. So we also have the Nexus Extreme, which I don't really know what kind of car this is, but um, we're kind of close to getting it. 
And this nebula wrap looks super cool. I wonder if we can just buy that. Let's see. Okay, I got the new nebula wrap. Let's go put it on. I want to see what it looks like here. Uh, customize, visual. Okay, where is it? Oh, nebula. Yo, if you guys remember way back in the days of Vehicle Simulator, this reminds me a lot of the starry camo. Oh my goodness, what a throwback. Also, I gotta do some quick modifying or else we can't do this race. Um, okay, engine. Let's just take a lot of stuff down here. We gotta bring our rating very low. Okay, there we go. Rating is good. Let's get out of here. Oh, we made it just in time. Yeah, this reminds me a lot of the Starry Camo. I don't know if you guys ever had the chance to really get into Vehicle Simulator, but man, all these games in 2023 are just inspired by the OG. I wonder if there's a way we can change the way the wrap looks to kind of really give it that old school Starry Camo look. Also, that really slowed me down there. This is one of the most perfect races for this uh, car, to be honest, because the handling I'll show you here guys, it is really nuts. I feel like with practice, this can be one of the better cars in the game, just based on the handling alone. It's seriously unbelievable. <laughs> Hold on, I think I'm lapping this Camaro. There we go. Nice, nice. Where is the first place guy? What the heck? I don't even know where he is. Let's see, what did he get? Oh, it was Fizz. Okay, this dude, I remember. Look at his miles. This guy is insane. All right, we just finished the daily. Let me go ahead and grab that. All right, let me see if I can change the way that this wrap looks. Can we make it, like, brighter or anything? Let's see. Um, nebula, nice. Okay, there's the body. All right, let's see. Can we make it any brighter? Or maybe we should just put it all on everything like this. Let's take off the pinstriping, too. Yeah, there we go. Exterior trim. Oh, there we go, dude. Now we're talking. Brakes. Make the tires, <laughs> just make the whole thing like Nebula inspired, that's super cool. Okay, sweet. But yeah, this is a straight up throwback, man. It's been such a long time since I've talked about Vehicle Simulator. What a throwback. But yeah, this thing feels really good, guys. You saw how it went in that race. If I didn't do that first crash, I feel like me and Fizz would have had a pretty close race. But yes, guys, I think I'll wrap it up here. This is basically the update. Uh, there's a new one, the Shadow Racer update which I'm super hyped about. I can't wait for that one to come out soon. Yo, the lighting right there looked crazy. Hold on a sec. Let's see. Let's check this out again. Oh my goodness. Okay, this looks pretty sweet. Wow. But yes, guys, I'll wrap it up here. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you guys want more Drive World, and I will see you guys in that Shadow Racer update very soon.